volcanoes, one of nature's most powerful and destructive forces. In this episode, we're going to take you as close as you can get to the most active volcano in all of Mexico, El Volcán de Colima, neighbor to the prominent but inactive volcano, El Nevado. Come with us and learn some Spanish as we explore these incredible mountains. We start our journey in Comala, Colima, Mexico, one of the most beautiful pueblos mágicos in the country and our home base as we travel through Mexico. Here, two majestic volcanoes adorn the landscape, El Nevado and El Volcán de Fuego de Colima, the snow-capped and fire volcanoes respectively. Stopping in Comala is a must if you're on your way to get a closer look of El Volcán de Fuego. We left Comala and drove a half an hour to spend a few days at one of the closest communities to the volcan. This place is called La Maria, where people from all over the world come to enjoy nature and have an up-close view of the volcano. La Maria is a park where you can find the basics to pass the time away from the city. The nearest and one of the only restaurants around is just over a mile away, down from La Maria. There you'll find Doña Esther, lifelong resident of La Besarrera and owner of Doña Esther's kitchen. She talked to us about the medidas de precaución they have to take when the volcano poses a threat. Past La Maria a few miles, you will find La Yerba Buena the closest community to the volcano. The government has tried to evacuate this community permanently for years now because of its dangerous proximity to the volcano, but some residents have refused to leave. Mercedes, La Maria's groundskeeper, told us what it's like to experience this natural phenomenon. Sí, fue una explosión muy fuerte, pero un día nada más. Fue un día, un día que se taparon los carros de ceniza, se oscureció, bien, bien, bien oscuro y sí, sí caía como durante el día. Sí, eran las doce y media del día. Esa vez yo sí me asusté, para que te voy a decir que no. Sí me asusté y sí nos fuimos, pero nomás ese día, este, porque sí se puso así como todo bien, todo gris. No negro, gris, gris, gris. Que de aquí ahí no se veía nada. Como de el, todo lo que estaba cayendo, de todo el humo. Y, y yo me, me dolían mucho los ojos. Y luego se oía feo, esa vez sí se oía. The next morning, we got up early and headed toward the fire volcano to get a closer look. Estamos aquí un poco después de la hierba buena en Colima, México. Existen alrededor de 10 volcanes activos en todo México. Pero este, el volcán de Colima, es el más activo en la actualidad. Se dice que hace muchísimo, muchísimo tiempo, cuando el nevado de Colima era un volcán activo, este comenzó a entrar en una etapa de enfriamiento, o sea que se comenzó a extinguir, lo que creó que en el cráter del volcán se hiciera como un tapón de lava que ya se había solidificado. Después de un tiempo, el nevado comenzó otra vez con su actividad Pero toda esa materia que estaba dentro no podía salir porque estaba el, el, uh, el tapón este de lava sólida. Entonces con toda esa energía se le comenzó a abrir un segundo cráter al nevado que ahora se conoce como el volcán de fuego de Colima. We had a great time staying at La Maria and our last night was spectacular. We were lucky enough to be there during an actual eruption. Granted, it wasn't anything devastating but it was the perfect ending to our stay. The area around La Yerba Buena gives you an incredible view of the fire volcano, but to get an even better perspective on just how massive these natural formations are, you have to go to the Parque Nacional 
Nevado de Colima. We drove from Colima for about an hour to a town called Ciudad Guzman in the state of Jalisco. From Ciudad Guzman, you will embark on a 12-mile drive up the snow-capped volcano through very rough terrain. I don't think this car is going to make it. <laughs> I'm really reluctant. This road <laughs> is the worst I've ever been on in Mexico. Despite the rough terrain, we finally made it to the park. This is incredible. We made it. Not Almost. yet. <laughs> We've got a ways to go, but the car made it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I've wanted to go to the top of this volcano right here ever since the first time I saw it in real life. And we're so close. This is my kind of adventure. I'm just trying to figure out how, how are we gonna get there? The snow-capped volcano is one of the highest mountains in the country, standing at over 14,000 feet above sea level. During the winter, it is very common to see it covered in snow. When El Nevado was active, it was so powerful that it could shoot massive rocks up to 50 miles away. So as we're walking up the mountain, we feel like it's getting harder and harder to talk, to speak. It is, we're just walking and sure there's a little bit of an incline, but after, I don't know, 20 meters, it feels like, wow, were we just running or something? Are we that out of shape? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to catch your breath because it feels like you just don't get enough. Uh, and we're close to 4,000 meters above sea level, so that explains it. The Parque Nacional Nevado de Colima was established in 1936 to monitor the activity of the neighboring Volcán de Fuego and to allow for ecotourism. If you're adventurous, you can hike up all by yourself, but we recommend you go with a guide or an experienced climber. At these heights, altitude sickness can take its toll and the weather can change for the worse rapidly. Visiting the Parque Nacional Nevado de Colima was a dream come true for me. I've been fascinated by the volcanoes ever since I first met Maya in Colima. Looking at them always brings back fond memories. Tienes que conocerlo. Visiting Los Volcanes de Colima is a truly unforgettable experience. The area around the volcanoes is not very touristy, but there's a lot of things you can do there, so make sure you check it out. Yeah, if you want to find out more details about our trip, you can go to SpanishAndGo.com and read more about it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Spanish and travel tips. Nos vemos pronto. Thanks for watching. Adios.